Time to make some house gains. Let's get this closing properly. And this door is sealed up. Never done anything like this before. We done some new stripping here. It's dead. It's flat. Hope it works. Still looks thick. It's a little tight, maybe it'll flatten out. It'll get smaller. Sickening! I'm gonna do the top and finish it up. Legit. Jeff gotta do something about this ugly thing. It's nasty. Finished product. This is where I'll be making gains the rest of 2014. Turn this place around. Painted new carpet. Got it set up real, real nice. That clean AC vent. It's good to go in here, man. It's real good to go. All of you thinking I'm trolling, it's literally 1 a.m. Shout out to Nick Arnold, sick hunt. Guys, I'm gonna jump in here. Uh, for those who watched, no homo. Sorry, you guys had to see uh, a bro in leggings, but I needed to wear something that I could see my form perfectly in. Because when I'm wearing shorts or pants, the shorts dragging on the butt and the pants dragging on the butt with the knees and everything, like you can't really tell if you're butt winking. And if you are a little bit, it might look major or it may not be apparent at all. So um, I threw the sweats on for the remainder of the workout. I really just wanted to see. I went at like one in the morning, so it was real straight and uh, it was actually great. It felt really nice to work out in them. I know some guys do, but I just don't like to get that much attention in the gym. But either way, um, my form kind of started breaking down here. You can see my knees really struggling to stay steady. So I kind of should have just, uh, I should have just ended early at 185 and just shut it down there and not on the 135. but. You know, no harm, no foul, it's lightweight, so. I'm really happy with some of the sets though, like the 205, 225, even the 245 looked really good on the butt winking, which is specifically what I want to see uh, by wearing, you know, tights like that, so. If you guys want to comment, whatever, I know a couple of my subscribers do on a regular basis, which is great, so. 
Those felt good. It was supposed to be a max back squat day. I was supposed to go to like 97.5%, so I was gonna be close to 400, but I'm not back squatting right now because it just don't feel right. I feel like I'm uh, getting an overuse injury from all the tension in the low bar and the hips and the knees. I just think I need to switch up the style and uh, give the knees a break. So uh, if I can front squat and deadlift, that's good enough for me. I just wanna be able to lift. Afterwards was leg press. Uh, three sets of 20. They, I put the timer here to show you how long these sets were. It's about a two to four second negative on each rep. And man, this is painful. It's very intense, really good for muscular endurance. I'm not sure how much it does for gains, but I mean, I love pushing myself past the pain barrier. So that was really fun to just go like a minute plus on the leg press for reps. And then here I'm trying my lunge form out. Uh, my lunges are pretty crappy because I like broke my big toe a few years ago and it's I never got rehab for it so getting it flexible again is has been kind of difficult with the lunges but uh, I was trying to figure out my knee position and everything on these and this first set with body weight looks pretty weird I don't know why I'm so far wide out with my stance but my knee seems to be traveling over the toes like the second and third toes so that's okay but um, I tried to fix my form up a little bit and stayed very light. I grabbed like 15 pounds, and this is me trying to close my stance up a little bit. Um, I tried it out of those shoes. Um, I think I gotta get a set of shoes to do leg day in that aren't squat shoes and that aren't running shoes. So I think uh, someone recommended me A6 GT 1000s, if you guys are aware. Apparently they have good like arch support, but they're nothing crazy. They're just very, a good shoe for, uh, keeping, you know, proper foot arch. So here's my form getting better. The legs are closer together, knees are straighter. Uh, that I'm really happy with, so I'm glad I could dial it in at the end. And uh, this is like a 12 plus set, so it'll finish up right here. Okay, so after the lunges was back raises, um, I busted out 60 reps. These have been really hard lately, so I feel like this is an exercise you can make very difficult. If you add two inches of range of motion to the bottom, it gets way harder. So uh, I'm keeping it unweighted for now, especially after such an intense leg session. And uh, I mean, it felt brutal. I was honestly in so much pain after most of these sets. Like, you know that, I don't know, just that crazy, crazy pain where you're just getting pushed over the edge because of the lactic acid and, I don't know, just the cramping. Band pull-aparts, four sets. I was able to get 20 reps with this band. I'm not sure if this band's getting stretched out over time or lighter, but these are much easier. So I might just be getting better at the movement, but uh, I definitely want to get a bigger band or a thicker band and just start uh, having other options for my band work. Athlete's choice and core. I skipped core because I'm gonna go in, uh, if this was a Friday, which it's not, I would have Saturday and Sunday to do like a weekend workout between my deadlift session. So I'm either gonna go tonight or tomorrow morning and just hit a quick uh, pump session, hit calves and abs for sure. So I didn't do core just because I was so spent. It was like 2.30 in the morning at this point. So I was just, you know, done with that. I'd moved all day. I didn't, you know, get exhausted from the busy day, but it was just a long one, so I never got to the gym till really late, and I wanted to film in a, in the tights, so. Anyways, leg extensions, a couple sets, negatives, no big deal, pretty standard. Overall, the leg day was good. The knee is feeling definitely better than it does when I back squat, so hopefully I can stay in the gym, or at least figure it out. Peace.